parents used to call me a mountain goat. Like, I was just, I was just happier there than anywhere else. So, yeah, it was quite a natural place for me to be. But I never thought, I never saw any female outdoor instructors growing up. We did lots of trips, but there weren't any women. And my school didn't say, oh, like, that's a valid career option. It was, no, you must go to university and stuff. So I, I didn't know it was a career possibility until I saw the fast track stuff, really. Like, an ML just seemed terrifying at that stage. So that wasn't a thing for me at that point. Like, I didn't know how to deal with the diabetes. Like, I hadn't had that much practice. The practice I had 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 not always gone very well. Like... I hypoed really badly on a Norwegian mountainside in a blizzard and just had to kind of wait it out on my own until my blood sugars came back up again. So that was quite scary. Um, I started carrying more apple juice with me after that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like I've, I've just always loved it. And then doing fast track, it became like a valid career option. Um, I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was 19. I was doing a ski season in Canada when I got ill and it became obvious that I was very ill. Um, so I flew back to the UK and was diagnosed. The diabetes came at 19 and I kind of had to learn to do it all again. I think you kind of have to just accept the risk that goes with like mountaineering, everything's dangerous. As long as you look after yourself to the best of your ability, it's fine. Anyone could have a heart attack at any moment. So why shouldn't I do it with diabetes? I just need to know how to look after myself. And I always make sure that I've told other people I'm with that I'm diabetic. So it doesn't like, surprise, I can't move for the next 40 minutes. We're just going to have to stay here. Um, that's not ideal. It's taken a long time to kind of learn what I need to do to look after myself properly. And also these days we've got really good technology. So I use a Dexcom, which is a sensor on my arm, which reads my blood sugars and transmits it to my phone, so I've always got the information, which makes life a lot easier. I eat to my blood sugars when I'm on the hill these days so that I can keep them steady. So like I take food, like, uh, like I take sugar and I take non carby food and I'll eat whatever is most appropriate type of thing to keep my blood sugars steady. With the diabetes, you're gonna go low. There's no question about that. There are gonna be times when your blood sugars go low and you're just gonna have to cope with it but make sure you've got enough warm clothing and sugar to cope with it. Be aware of the things that cause diabetic lows, like hypo and stuff like that, because I call it the trifecta of doom, which sounds really silly, but like walking uphill quickly for a long time will tank your blood sugars. It's just, that just happens. So like knowing that type of thing, I'm starting to put together a website talking about it all. Um, so that people have somewhere to go for a bit of advice and stuff, like discussing how different activities affect blood sugars and kind of giving people an idea of what to do so they can make their own choices. But with the information that I didn't have and a lot of other people at this stage haven't had, but we've just kind of done it all by trial and error. And if you're new to something, and your first experience is really negative because your blood sugars have gone really low, you're not necessarily gonna do it again. Whereas if we can give people the information to help them not have those negative experiences, we'll hopefully get more diabetics into the outdoors and help parents of diabetic children relax about that would be nice. So like they've got the information they need to look after kids and it's not just as scary, oh my God, you're gonna die, which seems to be what goes on in people's heads quite a lot. I think information's really useful, so the problem tends to come when you don't know what to expect. So as a diabetic, you often will change what how much insulin you're taking depending on what you're doing. Um, so if you don't know that you're gonna be doing like 500 meters of quite steep elevation and you think it's gonna be like, you, you haven't been given that information, then you could you quite easily take the wrong amount of insulin. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it, but also don't believe you're invincible because you're not.